in Zambia alone, we provided 103 scholarships to doctors in different underserved and critical specialties. We have an army. We have an army of specialized, very skilled doctors. Means most of you are the first specialist in the country. So we are together making history. In fact, I have good news as well. And today I have met uh, the new First Lady of Zambia, Her Excellency Motenta Hechima. And uh, she become our ambassador of her foundation more than a mother. And we are going to continue our partnership and building healthcare capacity and providing scholarships to more doctors in Zambia. So I am very, very glad. And I like very much an idea, since you are all here, the media representative who is our winners of the award, and also the, the alumni, introduce each other to, to each other, you know, make a network. Because through media, you can always deliver the messages you want to raise awareness to your community. And media like to learn and, and understand scientific information uh, from you, so they can transfer it in a simple way that community understand. So we want to do this platform of doctors and media together, so you can have really good impact in uh, creating a culture shift. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Mackenzie Bright. I'm a physician and gynecologist from Levy Monastery University Teaching Hospital. Uh, Sincerely, to say thank you to Mink Foundation for the sponsorship. I think I was sponsored from the postgraduate diploma in sexual reproductive health up to my Master's of Science, which is a very good thing on my part. I think the impact that it has created is that uh, I'm now able to attend to my patient with infertility issues with more confidence and with knowing what I'm doing than it used to be before I got this training. So it's been a great training and I really appreciate it because thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I didn't know that you don't need IVF to treat most of the couples. After my training, I've had, pain, I've had couples that have conceived after eight years, ten years of infertility. With just wow. simple, things, with simple things like stimulation wow. and even just uh, triggering them with uh, HCG, which I did not know before I did my training. So, with the skills and knowledge I've gained through the faculty, we have faculty members who are professors in emergency medicine and critical care from all over the world. Uh, the knowledge and um, skills that I've gained, gained so far have really helped me managing my patients. I'm currently part of a team and a World Health Organization who will be teaching basic emergency care around Lusaka, hopefully around Zambia, and we're planning to establish emergency rooms in the local facilities. No, actually the course has helped us a lot because now we even have um, newer drugs and newer treatment yes. modalities that we're now implementing new regimes, new methods and so on. Yes, because of the course that we did. Thank you. So you mean that you already have the quality of care, the diabetes care has improved. So the quality has increased, has improved, and the patient satisfaction has improved. Amazing. Congratulations. 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 Great. <laughs> uh, I am Dr. Muhyamba. I'm from, uh, I'm a surgical resident at the University Teaching Hospital. I did the Diabetes uh, Master course in 2020. Yes. So my experience has been that uh, the patient is the best judge of the quality of care that we deliver. And uh, I have had patients call me from my former hospital where I was, asking where I was because they noticed that the quality of care they're receiving is no longer the same. So that speaks to how much the impact that this course has.
video is, um, I think I created the, the story so that my, the, the ones that live in rural areas can also be able to interpret it, even if like maybe they don't understand the language, yeah? And um, I made a two a two part series. So the second part, my plan is to empower the girl so that she is the one who's narrating the story of how education has helped her become, let's say maybe a medical doctor or the CEO of Great Foundation, all thanks to having the opportunity to education. I think the collaboration with the Great Foundation is one that has been very long over the year. Um, I think for the longest time, the one thing that we underestimate is the power that fashion has. Is the power that fashion has um, because it's able to um, translate and transmit whatever type of message that you want. I think we all dress to look good, we all dress to you know feel good. For those that know me, they know when I dress up in colors that are popping and they know I'm feeling really, really good. So um, when we partnered with, with you, uh, we had the pleasure, I think I've got some of the designers here, there's Kasode, Kasode and the Sun. Can you please join us? Yes, please come yes. with us. Yes. <laughs> so what, um, what they did was um, they had to come up with designs that had messages on them talking about infertility. As has been said earlier, I think infertility is a cancer that we don't want to talk about. It's a cancer that has taken many lives, that has destroyed many marriages, especially women, you know? And so for us to be able to carry a dress that can carry a message, then everybody's going to see it. So um, I think that is a collaboration that we really will come. And we hope that it's not the end, no. because um, there are so many other uh, societal issues that people are grappling with. And what better way to, to, to relay a message than through fashion? Yes. So that's what it has done. Because fashion is something day to day we are doing. And you're actually wearing your board and your, your opinion and your, you know, in taking lives, your message to people. So, Absolutely. yeah, in a nice and, and, and classy way, like for example, you have this design. If you look at it, it's really lovely. It's like a night dress, but it has a, a nice message instead of having a monogram of. Of, of, of design or so on, you have a message that has a meaning. So you are contributing to society by only wearing it. Thank you very much, Karen. Thank you all. Thank you.